killed Virginia State Trooper Chad Dermeyer days after a convicted felon gunned him down at a Richmond bus station. And right now, I have lost a brother over something that I consider evil. A community honors the fallen trooper and prepares to lay him to rest. It has been a difficult last few days for the people in Gloucester. News of a shooting rocked those close to the trooper who lost his life. And that's why people continue to stand together side by side for the family of 37-year-old Chad Dermeyer. Taylor your sides, Matt Gregory is live now in the Wavy Live Center with what the community is doing to remember the fallen state trooper. Matt? Brandy, tonight's vigil brought the law enforcement community and the people of Gloucester together to mourn one of their own collectively, as much a remembrance of Trooper Chad Dermeyer as a way for both sides of his life to support each other. Gather the lines of law enforcement in Hampton Roads and the people they serve blurred on a soccer field in Gloucester, each leaning on one another for support after losing one of their own, Trooper Chad Dermeyer. And put on that badge and put on that uniform. They're making a conscious decision and a commitment to lay down their life for their friends and their family and their loved ones. Remembered by the officers he worked alongside, they and their family stood off to the side protecting Dermeyer's family. He was just always a wonderful guy. He was a Christian. He loved his family, and, uh, and he really loved being a trooper. He loved working in law enforcement. Out in the crowd, the community he lived in and the friends he lived among. Chad came to my house. He knocked on my door. And he just sat and talked to me. Like, hey, what's going on, man? He said, I had a rough situation, man. So, I mean, who does that? As the vigil turned to a darker reality, the two groups lit candles in his memory for Chad Dermeyer, the trooper, and Chad Dermeyer, the friend. And if anybody in here is a Marine and been in any combat, you understand that every Marine is your brother. And right now, I have lost a brother. While the vigil drew to a close, the reality of what the officers do every day comes into context. It's not just a job, it's beyond a job, it's a calling. Uh, it takes a unique individual who's willing to lay down their life every day, a thankless job. Both the community of Gloucester and Hampton Roads Law Enforcement for the afternoon joined together. The men and the women that make that sacrifice will never be forgotten. Two groups finding support in one another. I spoke with an organizer about why the vigil took place on a soccer field. She told me the Dermeyer family is very involved in the soccer community in Gloucester. In the newsroom, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side. The viewing for Trooper Dermeyer will be tomorrow from 3 to 5, then 6 to 8 at the Liberty Baptist Church in Hampton. The funeral is set for Tuesday at Liberty Baptist at 11 in the morning.